to another video and talk about uh, mental health again because clearly obviously more so in men than it is women we don't know how to express ourselves and when we do and we open up everybody points a finger and tells us we're not allowed to because it's not a big thing to do like we're we're show, we're we're told we're cowards we're pussies whatever it's whatever crap comes out of people's mouths i want to tell you all this from somebody that suffers with a de- you know depression men this go this message bit goes out to you do not be scared don't be scared to come out and say what you feel like the amount of times that people have probably told you people close to you that oh I'll always listen to you da, 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 da. and when you want to talk to them and tell them about your day they don't listen they make it all about them and actually you're trying to show a side of you that you're scared to show because it goes back to that cliche you're a man you're meant to be strong all the time guys we're not girls if a guy comes up to you and says or like messages you saying listen can i talk to you about how i feel don't par him up don't like say oh i've got a boyfriend and use that crap as a fucking excuse i'm sorry i feel so strongly about this like don't use that as an excuse because if you do, I'm sorry. Um, a, you're selfish, and B, like, maybe far fetched, maybe not. That person that you just told you can't talk to might just go and do something really silly, really silly that could have been prevented if you had just spoken to him, or even if you speak to another guy, like. Here's a thought, here's a thought. If that was one of your friends that were a female or a male and you're close to them, would you uh, tell them that you've got a boyfriend and then that be the done of it? No, you'd listen to them. But if it was a normal like person you didn't know and then they've been like following you on like social media for ages and like they see that you're quite a nice person and then they pop up to you like and you par them off. You're, like, you, you say, no, I don't want to know you. Come on. This like this part of this message now goes out to everybody. Girls, boys, whatever. If you want to talk to somebody, no, I am here. There are other people there that will listen, that will help you see a bigger picture and get you out of the state that you're in. You've put yourself in through no fault of your own at all. Sometimes it's through really selfish people that um, push you into that hole and then you find no way of getting out of it. Like, for example, I mean, I know there's obviously the lockdown going on at the moment in the UK and other parts of the world, but here's a thought, right? Say, for example, you've just got dumped or you're taking a break from everything, right? And then... You come back after taking some time out. And you want to talk about how you feel. But nobody will listen. And then somebody says, oh, talk to your family. I've heard that cliche every time. Talk to your family. What happens if we don't want to talk to our family? What then? Do we hold it? Do we bottle it all up? What do we do? Now, my point being is everybody needs somebody to talk talk to, turn to. Whether that be a friend that you've known for ages, whether that be an outside family friend, or even, dare I say it, an, an animal, like a pet. Because some people actually do take all their problems, and they talk to an animal. Not because of it's weird, 
because the animal doesn't talk back. Like, you can just talk and talk and talk. And I know from, you know, experience, my cat, right, he knows a lot about me. He knows more about me. Obviously, he doesn't obviously physically know because he's a cat. He doesn't understand. But, like, I've told him a lot, like, how I feel about everything from going through a breakup to how I feel in myself. He knows how I feel. Because that's the thing, like, that's the, the person or the, the uh, animal or whatever that I've chosen to talk to. And we're all different. Like, a lot of people find it easy to talk to people. Personally, I don't, because if I open up to somebody, nine times out of ten, they leave. And then I feel like an absolute idiot for telling that person. Do you know what I mean? So, if that's happened to you, then I know how it feels. It sucks because you thought you could trust that person. Clearly you couldn't. But once you've got all that, all those sort of people out of your life, all that negativity, all that crap, you then know who your true friends are and then you know who you can turn to. So guys, girls, don't ever think you're alone. Don't ever think you're on this earth on your own. There are people out there in the same boat as you but they can't say anything because they're scared. And that's the whole thing. We're all scared of coming out of our own feelings and emotions because we're scared that we tell somebody and then they judge us straight away. Most so There are some people that do judge. And I tell you what, the people that judge, this is a message for you. Don't. Don't judge people by the way they look, the way they sound, the way they come across. Because guess what? You don't know what that person is like when all that negativity is taken off. That person might have the heart of gold that you're looking for. That person might have aspirations or ideas for his future that actually match yours. So don't just judge a book by its cover. Don't don't judge a book by that person's look, by that person's style. A book has more to it than a front and a back. The same as a person. There is the in-between. And I've seen it so many times that people... People on social media, um, such as TikTok, such as Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc. They come out and they say... I feel like this today. Now, if you come out and say, I feel great, well, that's good for you. But there's a lot of people that don't. And it's those people that don't, don't come out and say anything. But if they did, a lot of people would say, oh, why are you feeling down for? Like, you know, you're alive, aren't you? Yeah, da, 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 da. Guys, it's not as easy as that. Mental health is not as easy as it seems. Like, it's not black and white, straight down the middle. There's no... You know, for somebody that suffers with anxiety, depression, um, ADHD, whatever it might be, I don't know. Like, um, or PDA, you know, PDSD. You know, guys, all, all of us are in the same boat and we're all looking for somebody to turn to and just talk to. It's harder for some people, it's easier for others. But like I've said at the start of this video, I'm here and so are loads of other people. We're all here supporting each other. Guys, we all have to live on the same planet. And there'll be some of you that will say, oh yeah, well I don't like this person because of this. What they've done in the past, what they've done in pre- like recently. Guys, it's called a thing called the past. It's called the past for a reason. Because that person has done that thing And nine times out of ten, they then look back and they think, oh, crap, I screwed up. I did something wrong. And now I can can sit here and rant about this all day long if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, but I'm going to leave you with this. Do you believe somebody that um, has made such a huge mistake in their life can change? 
Because I can. I believe so. I'm living proof. I was once a horrible human being. An evil, twisted... Um, I got called psycho quite a lot. I, I couldn't see it, but now I do. I see the bigger picture. I see a picture that once was blind to me, but now it is open. And I can see all the all the cracks that were starting to appear i'm addressing or i'm addressing myself all those all those bad things that i've done i'm addressing now on my own and i'm trying to make myself stronger and heal myself fully i don't want to hurt anybody else i've hurt too many people well one person in particular but that person i don't want to like talk about frequently because it would just make me feel really down and I don't want that and I'm sure that person is probably sick to the back teeth of me talking about them <laughs> so you know that there's that but guys just remember that with mental health there is somebody out there for you and there is helplines as well there's helplines out there that will, the person on the other end of the phone will listen, no matter what. They will listen to you and they will help you. You might not believe that, but they will, I promise. And, you know, the proof is in the pudding. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe. Um... If I do any more of these sort of videos, I will let you know. But for now, go out and be great. Enjoy yourselves and try and keep safe in these horrible times that we're in at the moment.